welcome to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith uh, just going to show you a quick tutorial on assigning MIDI controllers and recording MIDI information with Stylus RMX um, right I've created uh, a version of Stylus RMX uh, F11 um, there we go I've just put a basic house loop in there so what I'll do is I'll actually just drag that onto there press P and loop so all we're going to do now is uh, select low pass filter I'm going to click the little disc in the right hand corner select MIDI learn learn control and I'm going to move cut off then on my MIDI controller I'm going to uh, turn one of the rotary knobs and there you go that's now latched and as simple as that so let's do that again click the little disc click MIDI learn click learn control I shall move resonance and I'll move another controller and there you go resonance is now latched simple as that so what we'll do now is I like to create uh, a MIDI track I'm gonna create two we'll call that one filter that one Reso. Now on the filter one, select stylus MIDI channel one, stylus MIDI channel one. So on the filter, what I shall do is I'll press record. And that's the filter knob. And now I'll do the resonance. And that's it. Now the beauty of that for me is one I can well first of all let me explain this to you if we double click the MIDI part select here and there you will see a little star to controller 17 hours is and that's our filter cutoff information so if I do that and that we get a lot nicer oh. same with the resonance double click that one's controller 9 what we'll do is let's do that for the resonance and there you go it's as simple as that like I said the beauty of doing it this way is I can go in and manipulate my filter cut off or manipulate my resonance or whichever other controller that is what I'd probably do as well is add a, a folder track and then I would select my let's call that RMX select my RMX my filter and my resonance and I can drag them into a folder to hide them all out the way call that stylus just a way of keeping everything together keeping it clean and tidy again a lot quicker a lot easier to just go in there and manipulate whichever parameter you want whether it's filter cut off resonance pan volume can be absolutely any controller on the stylus rmx any anything that you can see here we can control you know the envelope attack to kiss uh, the width the drive the gain the pitch fine tune you know the lfo rate or the depth absolutely anything that you can see in here we can manipulate by clicking midi learn learn control move something and that then gives us our, our little MIDI MIDI channel number and we can just draw it in so I hope this has been useful until next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel and take care bye bye Pro. Pro. Pro.